Hello, and in this video, we're going to be taking this rod we just created and put it into our box by putting some holes in the box and uh, putting it in the box so it can rotate around. And we'll also add some cams, some of those cams we created uh, previously onto that rod as well. Uh, so to do that, first we want to enter our rod. So we hit enter, we find the rod we created, and we can put it wherever we want out here. So I'm just going to click and place it. I'm just going to put one out here and hit my green check uh we can if we wanted to we could change the length or we could change the diameter by right clicking and do a change configuration uh for this particular rod i'm not going to change it but when we add others we will uh next thing i'm going to do is it needs some holes to go through so i have to add some holes into these side pieces uh, if you click on it you can see these are side three uh so you can either edit it directly on here or we can go over to side three and edit it in the piece itself so i'm going to edit in the piece this time uh later on i'll show you how to do it on the part either way it's going to give us the same results uh, so all i need is a hole in the center i'm actually going to do this by uh sketching a circle and uh extruding that circle all the way through so i'm going to sketch click on that front face and turn to the front then I'm going to put a circle. I'm just going to put it somewhere on the front of here, uh, exactly where it does not matter. I'm going to click. And in order for the rod to be able to spin, we want the rod to be able to spin. We're going to want a clearance fit. So if you remember clearance fit, we want it going to be, we're going to want it the hole bigger than the rod itself. Uh, so I'm going to have to change that size of that hole. Uh, so when I go to dimension it, I want to make it bigger than that 0.25 we picked. I'm going to pick 0.30 in this case. That way we have plenty of clearance. So I have it, but now I want that hole located in the center of this object. So we're going to keep dimensioning. I'm just going to go from the center to the top. And I drag out so it's out of our way. The whole thing was 4, so the center is going to be at 2 inches. I'll do the same thing from the side. So I'll do the center to one of the sides. And I bring it down just so it's out of the way. And again, the whole thing is for half of that's going to be two. So I put it right in the center. Uh, then I can finish the sketch by hitting the green check. Uh, I'm going to turn it just so it's easier to see what we're working with. And we're going to do an extrude and a cut or remove that hole. Uh, you can do depth as one. You can do all. Either way, it's going to cut through the entire thing. Uh, then we get our green check and it puts that hole in our side. Now if we go back to our box, you can see that hole is located in those sides. Uh, now we're going to use a constraint to put this uh, rod into this hole. Uh, there's a few different ways that we can do this. Uh, with Onshape, it does some uh, predictions of how you would want to have it. Uh, so it makes it so we can only do it with just one constraint. Uh, in this one, we're going to use the Revolt Mate. Uh, it allows the object to spin. You can kind of see in the diagram it lets it spin. Uh, so I'm going to hit Revolt Mate. I want the edge of this rod, and I'm click that, and then I want it to go to this far edge over here. So I'm actually going to click on the outside corner just so you can see a little better, and I want it to go to that outside edge. Now if we turn it, we can see it's in that hole. If I go back to the view I started with, you can see it's in that hole. So I hit my green check, and it puts it in place. Uh, if we right-click on Revolve, we can edit if we needed to. And it shows you if we needed it, if it went in the wrong direction, you can flip the axis. If you want to see how it can move, we can click on it and it shows you it's able to spin around. Uh, so hit the green check again and that puts our object into the hole. Uh, next we want to add some cams onto here. Uh, I'll let you pick what cams you want to add. It's totally up to you. Uh, for my case, I'm going to start with an eccentric cam. and I'm just going to place that eccentric cam on here. Uh, I'll also add a pair cam. I want a total of two cams. Again, you get to pick what two you're going to end up using. And I hit my green check. Uh, then we're going to again do the some constraints, but this time we're going to use a fasten mate. Uh, we don't want these uh, cams to move when the rod moves. We want them to stay st static on that rod. That way, when the rod moves, uh, these move with it. Uh, so I'm going to do a fasten mate. I'm just going to click on the outside edge of that hole, and then I'm going to click on the outside edge of my rod here. It puts it on the rod. Right now it's on the edge. I want it more in the middle. Uh, later on we may move your location uh, because we will put some holes in the top of the box to fit it underneath. Uh, but I just want to give it a rough location right now. So we're going to do what's called an offset. 
The offset lets us move it in the x, y, or z coordinates, or, or a combination of those. Uh, so let's say I change my z coordinate to 2, and I hit enter, you can see it moves it out to. I want to move it inside my box, so I instead of making it a positive 2, I can make it a negative 2. And that's going to move it back inside my box. Uh, for this particular case, I'm going to move it back to a negative 4. And if we look at the front view, you can see that moves it a little off center in this case. Uh, if we want it to be exact, I I'm probably will change it later to a fraction of that. But we'll just keep it in that location now and show you how to make that change later. Hit our green check, and that places that in our location. Uh, then we'll do the same thing with this pay to cam. Uh, so again, I do a fast and mate. I click on that hole. And then I click on my rod. I make sure it's on the rod when you click. Uh, then again, we have to offset it. This time, I don't want it as far onto the object, so I may just do a 2 on here. And when we hit enter, you can see it moves it forward. So again, we need a negative 2 and enter. Then if we turn it to our front, you can see it's inside this object. I can move it farther one way or the other. Uh, later on, we'll look at getting in, in the uh, exact location later on this week. Uh, you hit your green check, and that puts them both on the rod. Uh, then we can come down to where it says we revolve, and we can animate, and we can see it spin. So if we hit that play button, you can see uh, as it spins, those uh, cams move with it, and they stay in that rotation as they move with it. Uh, so hopefully this helps in uh, putting your rod into your box and putting those cams on there. Uh, thank you, and good luck.